Hello and welcome everybody. My name's Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com. Thanks for joining me today for the Cancer July Horoscope. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you. Okay, it is a quiet a month in July for everybody. Uh, we've been through so much lately with the eclipses and uh, Mercury retrograde and uh, Mercury will actually turn direct on the 21st of June. So July, things should be much quieter, a little bit easier. Uh, the other thing that's happening is that Jupiter is changing houses. Uh, it's going into your 8th house of shared resources, but it's retrograde. So normally it would mean that uh, your concerns about other people's money, shared resources would be growing and expanding. But because it's retrograde, it's probably not so much. It's uh, quieter. And there are actually a fair few uh, planets uh, that are retrograde at the moment. You can see here... Uh, we've got Jupiter from the 20th of June to the 18th of the 10th, Saturn from May to October, Uranus not until next month, August, Neptune uh, is retrograde, Pluto is retrograde, you know, so there is a fair bit um, going on with the retros. So it could just mean things are slowing down and it's a quieter time, which is great. Uh, we can all catch our breath, basically. Okay, let's go to the board and uh, I'll draw two tarot cards for you uh, for the month. And it's amazing how well they work in with the horoscope. Okay, so, oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, so we've got the emperor here. Uh, the emperor is sort of like, people have mixed uh, responses uh, to this card because some people see it as control and domination over. Other people see it as uh, feeling of safety and comfort because they know where they're at. This is like a mature masculine energy, often in a man, not always, can be a woman. But uh, this energy has a lot of conviction and determination. And he has the ability to carry out his plans and his ideas uh, so he likes to maintain a tight control over all the uh, situations and uh, he likes stability and logic and, you know, being practical and pragmatic. That may or may not suit you. This is often like government departments. So you could have some sort of uh, issue perhaps with government agencies. But, you know, if you play by the rules, you don't take any shortcuts or anything like that, there won't be any problem. Okay, so that's the first half of the month. You may hear news. And maybe that news has been delayed for a while and now something's happening and you're getting that news coming through from the government agency. Or if it's a private company, it could be like uh, a government agency with a lot of control. Second half of the month if you're thinking in terms of time is the seven of swords now sort of mixed response this used to be called the thief in the night card i don't really see it because her legs are bright yellow so this is a solar plexus energy it's about accomplishing things uh, moving forward and really getting the thoughts into action you see these two swords here she's she stuck them in the ground and uh, because of that uh, she's making her thoughts physical so there's some sort of success around accomplishment and another sort of interpretation of this card uh, is a partial success in dealing with authority now remember this card back here is all about authority so they two could go together you have some sort of issue and then you're you know largely successful in whatever your issue with the government is you know or or it could be parents uh or somebody in a you know authoritative position okay so this suggests the chakras are opening up or perhaps travel sometimes but probably the chakras are opening up releasing things which could be a little bit turbulent uh, but it works out for your benefit in the end okay so bear those two cards in mind 
as we work our way uh, through the horoscope now so I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so that you can see more clearly look at all of that activity uh, now the first thing I notice see I'm looking at lately I've been looking at aspects and aspect patterns more in the uh, horoscopes and um, there's two T-squares here uh, both involving Uranus uh, in Taurus here in the 11th house and Saturn in Aquarius here in the 8th house. So your connections, uh, possibly friends, groups uh, and this Saturn's very uh, sort of authoritarian as well. See how they work in together and uh, it likes control, it likes stability and structure uh, and uh, it could be dealing with large groups of people because it's in Aquarius. So this could be a government agency. Uh, and then uh, the difference between the two T-squares is we've got one in Venus, uh, with Venus here in the second house and the other one in Mars in the second house. So it's about your money situation. This is a big money month for you. Even though it's sort of quieter in the heavens generally, with, with this and this going on, uh, there could be issues about money for you to sort through. So a T-square has two squares and an opposition. Squares are about, they are challenging, but it's about taking a step-by-step -step approach, building on things and working through any issues. Okay, so it's not a bad, it's not as bad as what people suspect the oppositions are much more uh, tough you know so it usually ends up being a little bit of both if there's a dispute there's some sort of there can be some sort of compromise arrangement that that you work it out in the end okay so let's have a look now at your horoscope uh, 30th of June to the 3rd of July Mars trines Chiron and uh, this is lovely because you could feel more in tune with your inner energy and also your own healing forces you can find a different activity that allows you to express your individuality and deep-seated needs and longings it's like this whole thing is like taking you to a deeper le uh, level in your subconscious it can be a time when you discover a healthy channel for you uh, both physically and emotionally 10th of July to the 13th of July uh, so it's really the 10th, but it's in that three-day period. You've got a new moon here in your second house. This indicates new beginnings. It's time to take care of your possessions and, um, you know, to make sure everything's in order. Make sure business is in order and especially to do with your finances as well. Uh, secure, do secure your valuables and your finances and watch that you don't spend money on an impulse or a whim especially that something you know that appeals to you emotionally but doesn't have much practicality much practical value 10th of July to the 27th of July Mercury uh, moves into your sign here in your first house your first house is your sign and so you could be speaking out more, letting your voice be heard on important matters. You're likely to be more alert and keen and you express yourself well. It's an excellent time to initiate discussions. Uh, do listen to other people because uh, sometimes they have clues about what the situation is. So it's not just all about you talking. It's also about listening. 20th of July to the 15th of August, Venus moves into your third house here. Communications, study, mental activity, promotion, you know, whether that's promoting yourself or a business. And uh, also it's your local area. So people like your neighbours or people that are around near where you live and your immediate circle are more important now. It's a great time to make social visits, um, try and fix old grievances and make friendly overtures to other people. Also, you may be going out in your local area, attending cultural events and taking short trips. 21st of July to the 22nd of August, the sun is uh, moves into your second house of finances. This brings insight, awareness, and uh, your mind is likely to be on your money, possessions, 
and you know practical things you can do with your money. Uh, if you do tend to be generous or extravagant with your resources, you could be even more so now. So watch that. If you do have financial issues, you may see the light at the end of the tunnel and you'll know what steps you should take next. 24th of the month uh, sees full moon in your 8th house here. Again, about other people's money, uh, joint resources, assets. It's also intimacy. So you could be having these things on your mind. To watch that you don't react as you always have in the past because uh, it's, it is time to be objective, especially about money. Your emotions are more intense and uh, watch that you don't overreact to some encounter. 26th of July to the 11th of August sees Mercury move into your second house. So it goes from the 12th to the 1st to the 2nd. And you might have a lot of thoughts again you know about money commercial transactions personal assets and material security so this is a big money month uh, you're thinking about how you spend money and how you manage your resources it is a great time to consult with a financial planner or accountant and get business affairs in order generally 28th of july to the 28th of december jupiter moves into your eighth house now it's retrograde here so as i said uh, it's not probably as, as expansive as what it normally is but still there can be some really fortunate developments uh, through business or if you have a partner uh, whether that's a per you know a personal relationship or a business relationship there could be some really good things there might be delays around it or it goes slow but you just keep on plotting and you'll get there uh, it might be a time when you're considered joining forces and pooling resources with somebody else. And um, it's also a time of psychological and emotional rejuvenation. There could be really quite deep things. This house here is um, the eighth house. It brings up lots of deep things like secrets and things that have been uh, long buried uh, and so, you know, you can eliminate some old patterns and uh, some things in, can leave your life now which will pave uh, the way for a much better future. 17th of July to the 5th of August, Jupiter trines your ascendant. And uh, this is likely to be a good time for you. You're likely to feel a bit more confidence, get some wins under your belt finally, uh, promote your ideas and plans that you be believe in. And other people, you know, are likely to think that your ideas are quite reasonable, accept your proposals and even provide you some support. It is an excellent time to influence a government agency or organisation, start a business or make a career change. Legal matters of any kind can work out, fortunately now, even if there's some delays due to uh, Jupiter retrograde. 27th of July to the 31st of July, Mars sextiles your ascendant. Uh, you're likely to be more, more clear and above board with people. Uh, and if there's any differences with other people, you can sort it out. You know, someone can offer an olive branch here uh, and it's like the energy is there to move ahead in a positive way. You're likely to appear more confident and people are inclined to follow your lead now. 27th of July to the 14th of September, Mars moves into your third house here. Okay, remember communication, study your local area. Also, uh, it's also related to uh, distant family members. So whether that be family members you haven't seen for a long time or they're actually physically dis distant in another place. Uh, and um, you're likely to be you know, communicating or you hear news about them, uh, watch sure that you, you know, you don't get impatient. Uh, that's always an issue with Mars. Uh, and, you know, I'll try to avoid arguments if possible. Uh, it's better to attack an intellectual problem rather than your neighbours, friends or distant family members. And distant, think about the word distant, it doesn't just mean physically distant, maybe there's an emotional distance between you as well. 
31st of July to the 3rd of August, Mars opposition Ju Jupiter. You're likely to have more energy and more self-confidence, full of enterprise. And um, you really want to take the bull by the horns and be ambitious and achieve something. So you need a fair bit of scope now. So, you know, if people are trying to hold you back in some way, uh, maybe take the initiative and advance as you want to rather than what other people tell you. It's uh, a time where you could speculate. Do be careful of that. Uh, you don't want to overextend yourself or believe that you can do more than you actually can because your confidence is, uh, you know, with Mars, it, it brings a great deal of confidence. Okay, so... You can see it's a bit of a mixed bag. It's a sort of mixed bag for a lot of signs this month, it seems. Uh, but the um, the thing of slowing down and taking a breather, I think we all really need to do that with everything that's happened. Okay, so I'm just going to close my eyes now and see what I can see. Uh, if you're new, please consider subscribing to the channel and hit the notification bell as well. And... Here we go. All right, so I've got the aqua blue. It's more a blue than a green. So this is blue and green together. Uh, so the desires of your heart coming up and being expressed through the throat. This is quite a, a sort of more pale aqua than what I normally see. And so suggest to me it's not as strong as it could be, but it's still there. So I see elevators on the side of a building going up and down. When I see a skyscraper, I know it's a collection of ideas or belief systems that you have. So there's definite movement forward, uh, ascending in consciousness, going up the skyscraper. And I want to say the words, even though I'm not seeing this, I want to say the words that you're building the skyscraper. So, oh, okay, the building's going on in another place, not where I'm looking. It's going on behind or underneath or somewhere else. So the ideas that you have are being sort of slightly modified uh, but yes definite building now this is what's it remind me of oh it's a bit of a phallic symbol actually uh, I thought it was an arrow at first like going up like Mars I think this is probably um, very ambitious goal oriented like Mars active want to get ahead uh, do stuff yes and it's and it's also very masculine okay so there could be if it's not if you're not feeling like this it could be a masculine energy around you that's influencing you some in some way someone close like a husband or or perhaps a partner of some description who is the really ambitious one and you're sort of looking from the sidelines you know a little bit of ambition is a good thing but of course you don't want to go too far now I'm out in space and uh, the sun's over here on my left and the earth's over here and I'm sort of in the middle and and I see all these rays coming from the sun down onto the earth and I feel like this is like direct energy. If you're in the southern hemisphere, Australia and New Zealand, uh, please get outside in the sunlight. Uh, I feel a lot of people need to, I won't say look at the sun, but it's something about the sun rays going through the eyes. And so I wouldn't encourage you to look at the sun, but maybe close your eyes and the rays still go through. Yeah, I just feel it could be a vitamin D thing. Uh, and although there are supplements, vitamin D supplements, if you can get the sunlight on your skin and particularly on your eyes, even with your eyes closed, okay? So you don't want to look directly at the sun. Maybe look off to the side, but if this is enlivening. And it's also, because it's winter here, we have short days. And uh, I was amazed coming home from the dog park yesterday. It was four minutes past five and it was getting getting so dark I thought wow I could be walking the dogs now it was so dark so um, we're coming up to the solstice in a couple of weeks when of course everything will change around and the days will get longer okay so anything else for you caring cancerians what do I see yeah I see another ladder I see a train so you're on track you're going up you're not going up like this. You're going up at a diagonal, so it's a bit easier. You're still getting there. 
uh, and just be patient. A certain amount of patience is required, but you are making progress. They're now showing me escalators. So there's a whole lot of things here about moving up in the world, moving forward at a slower rate, but still getting there. And I think it's great that we can have a quieter month this month. Okay, so that's it, everyone. I hope you find this a little bit interesting. And if you do, leave it a like. That'd be fabulous. And a share on your social media would be fabulous. I would really appreciate that too. All right, have a wonderful month, everyone. And I'll see you all again soon. Leo is the next horoscope I'll be working on. Okay, bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website, absolutesoulsecrets.com for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.